The following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Botest.com, and today we're inside the Hatteras Yachts facility. Specifically, we're going to be taking a look at the lamination process of their larger yachts. One of the distinguishing features about a Hatteras yacht is areas that you can't see as the owner, and that is the hull. So we're going to take a closer look at some of the things they're doing. Hatteras utilizes the resin-infused process not only for the manufacturing of its hulls, but also for its stringers and bulkheads as well. This process has two distinct advantages. First, it's more of a rigid structure that holds its shape in arduous conditions. And second, it enables a glass to resin ratio of 60 to 40, which saves weight and maximizes strength. The interior of the hull, the main structure, is made of this divinacell foam core. The coring is scored to better allow it to conform to the shape of the mold. And as you can see, it's flexible. And what it allows it to do is when they go through the resin infusion process, it gets the resin down in there, and this is what makes that hull one unitized piece. Now, it comes cut out in specific shapes for a particular model, and each one has a number, and that way, the craftsmen know where to place it within the hull. After applying the gel coat, a skin coat, and the outer laminate, the Divinacell foam is placed in the hull above the waterline. The complete hull is vacuum bagged, and the resin infusion begins. In this cutaway cross-section of the hull, you can see the outer and inner layers of glass, the foam core, and then all voids are filled with resin. The resin not only fills the voids between the coring, but the coring itself becomes completely encapsulated by the resin. After the hull has been resin infused, Hatteras actually sandblasts the entire interior, and you get this sort of rough finish. What that enables them to do is, when they put the resin infused bulkhead in here and glass it in, it gives them a more perfect bond. Here you can see the bag being placed over the stringers which have been manufactured outside of the hull at the bottom of the boat they will be resin infused in a vacuum to the hull. The same process is done with all bulkheads which are created with the same resin infusion method outside of the hull. Now I'm inside a GT63 hull and here you can see one of the resin infused bulkheads we talked about. But it has been glassed in and this is essentially one unitized hull piece now. And I can tell you while it's hard to demonstrate on video it's like a giant chunk of granite it's so solid. As you can see, there are four huge longitudinal stringers stretching from bow to stern. They transfer the stiffening of the bulkheads from an egg crate shape structure into the bottom, which gives its hull immense strength. An interesting design feature about the GT series is that the fuel tank is completely integrated into the hull between the stringers. By using the fiberglass hull bottom, stringers, bulkheads, and flooring for the sides of the fuel tank, Hatteras saves weight, builds even more strength into the keel, and it also lowers the boat's center of gravity, making it more comfortable in a seaway. Hatteras bulkheads are thick for sound deadening and strength, but they're also light. RFP pipe is cast into the bulkheads and stringers to prevent chafing of wire looms of plumbing. And these are just a few of the construction details that Hatteras Yachts uses to build what are among the strongest yachts in the world. For Boatest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.